In one of my other videos I've already shown you how we can create cost elements manually in SAP via the transaction code KA01. However, I've also told you that despite the manual creation of cost elements, we also have the opportunity to create cost elements automatically from GL accounts, to be precise, from general ledger accounts for revenues and expenses. And this we will learn today. So before we jump into that, I've already shown you the creation of a cost element manually, that's for sure. Let's quickly display one via slash NKA03. Just select one of the cost elements from my system. And here you can see the cost element category. This becomes particularly important when we create cost elements automatically. So please keep this in mind. How do we now tell the system to create cost elements automatically once we save our GL account? Therefore, we navigate to transaction code slash N OB13. That's OB13. And then we select our chart of accounts because in the chart of accounts, we can state that cost elements should be created either manually or automatically. And this is done via the section controlling integration. You can see here for my system, it's already set to automatic creation of cost elements. So whenever we now create a GL account, which is a revenue or expense account, a cost element will be created automatically. But only if we specified the cost element categories I've shown you a second before. So therefore we navigate to the transaction code slash N OKB2. That's OKB2. And select our chart of accounts. And over here what we need to do is now define for which GL account what kind of cost element should be generated. So for instance here we have the GL account 500,000 and we want a cost element to be created within the cost element category 11, which is for revenues and so on and so forth. So despite the setting in our chart of accounts, we also must specify here for the GL accounts, either individually, as you can see over here, or even for a range. I could also insert here up until 600,000, for instance, we must specify how the cost elements should be generated. So the cost elements, we have the mandatory field, which is the cost element category. Um, I can also show you over here. So the most important ones are primary costs, cost reducing revenues, and also revenues and sales deduction. So we need to define here, yeah, in what kind of cost element category the cost element should be generated. So accordingly, when we now create, for instance, if we set here a new entry, Let's imagine I click on new entries and I say the general ledger account 59,000 and it's only for this particular GL account and the cost element category 11. This would mean if I now create this particular GL account, then automatically a cost element with the same number will be created by the system and the cost element category 11 will be assigned. Now let's imagine the case where you set in your chart of accounts not an automatic creation but a manual creation of the cost elements. And now you want to and now it could be that you have a bunch of GL accounts in your system but the cost elements are missing since you for instance forgot the manual creation. Therefore all we need to do is create a so-called batch input session. Therefore, we use transaction codes slash N OKB3. That's OKB3. We would just specify the validity period and hit on enter. And all we then need to do is navigate to transaction code slash N SM35. That's slash N SM35 select our batch input session over here and execute it either in the background or in the foreground depending on the size for our specific controlling area for sure then we hit enter and you can see 
Now if we do it in the foreground, we just have to click enter a couple of times and you can already see that the respective cost elements are now here created. We could also run it in the background if we have a lot of cost elements that are missing for the gel accounts, but in my case I only have a couple of them. Yeah, then you click on session overview in the end, double click on the line, and we can see 10 of our cost elements have been created successfully. Yeah, and that's basically it. So via the OB13 transaction, we set the automatic creation of cost elements. And then via OKB2, as I've shown you before, we need to provide the number ranges and the cost element categories. And if we have the case where we created a bunch of GL accounts, which are revenue and or expense accounts, and no cost element exists yet, we can create them en masse via the batch input session. Thanks a lot for your attention. I hope you gained good knowledge. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel.